Hey guys, today we'll be looking at the KWC Mini Uzi. Here is the box the Mini Uzi came with. Inside of the box you'll find a manual that will tell you everything you need to know about the Uzi. Then you'll find a small bag with tools in it. A full metal magazine. A speed loader. And of course, the mini Uzi. Inside of the bag you'll find an Allen key. A front side adjustment tool. And an extra magazine plug. The gun features a full metal upper receiver. The Uzi has trademarks from IWI and some warning labels on the bolt. The Uzi has a metal wire stock which folds into place and unlocks really easily. As you can see here, the stock stays in place real well even when I'm shaking it violently. And the butt plate of the stock has groove inserts. I have the version 2 of the gun, so my gun fires from an open bolt. The charging handle is on the top of the gun and it is non-reciprocating, which means it will not move back and forth with the bolt when firing. The hop up is easily adjustable by twisting the knob on the barrel. It will click into place loudly and to decrease the hop up, push the button and twist counterclockwise. The front handguard is made out of plastic, as well as the lower portion of the gun, including the pistol grip, the trigger guard, and the trigger itself. The gun does have a grip safety. It is very similar to a 1911, and when it is not pulled, you cannot pull the trigger. The rear sight is adjustable and has two apertures, one big, one small. The front sight is adjustable too with the included tool. The fire select is just like the real Uzi. S is for safe, R is for semi, and A is for fully automatic. The magazine release is on the left hand side of the pistol grip and is easy accessed by your left hand. Field stripping the weapon is really easy. Push down on this tab and lift up on the plate. At first this will be tough because the spring is tough but after time it will loosen up. Once you got the cover off you can see the massive bolt. This is one giant piece of metal and the recoil spring is really tough as well. Putting the weapon back is pretty easy. Just place it like so and then smack it down. Gassing the magazine is pretty simple. Remove this cap here. After doing so, place a 12 gram CO2 cartridge like so. After being placed inside, reinsert the cap and screw on with hand tightness first. After you cannot twist it anymore with your hand, use the Allen key that was included to tighten the rest. You will wait for a hiss and then tighten it a little bit more. Now you have a gassed up mag. To load the BBs, use the included tool. The BB loader is an old jam down design and holds exactly 40 BBs. I am now using a BB loader to quickly load the speed loader that was included. The speed loader that is included is good because it will give you precise double stack. Once fully loaded, take down the rod and ram it down until there is no BBs left in the loader. To 
and load the weapon, pull back on the bolt, and insert your magazine. You don't have to pull back on the bolt, but this way, the gun will be ready to fire. For the chronograph, I use the brand new CO2 cartridge as well as 0.2 gram BBs. I hope you like my videos and I'll see you next time.